January 6, 1995, almost four weeks after the bombing of PAL-434, the Philippine police get a lucky break. In his Manila apartment, the PAL-434 bomber has enlisted the help of an accomplice to mass-produce his new undetectable bomb. An attempt to burn off chemicals gets out of hand. Acrid smelling smoke spills out of the apartment. It attracts the attention of the doorman who comes to investigate. What's going on? Sorry, sorry. Uh, we, we play them with some fireworks, but it's okay. We put them out and we have all the windows open inside and we keep the door closed. It would be fine, okay? Uh, you all open the door. No, no, no. If we open the door, the smoke comes in the hallway. You keep it closed to go out the window, okay? It's okay. It's okay. Until the smoke dissipates, the bombers decide to wait outside the apartment. The doorman isn't convinced by their playing with fireworks story, and he calls the fire department and the police. By the time the firemen come, the smoke is gone and they leave after a quick check. The bomber now realizes he has left a very sensitive item in the apartment, and he persuades his friend to retrieve his laptop. He was uh, too clever a guy to come back and uh, expose himself because all along he knew that uh, that would be too risky for him to go back and be caught. The bomber's fear of getting caught is justified. Once police inspector Ada Faraskal learns that they are from Pakistan, she insists on seeing their room for herself. The police in Manila are on high alert due to a planned visit by the Pope in a few days. What Inspector Fariscal finds confirms her worst fears about the intentions of the tenants. The shot distracts the apprentice, and he trips over a fallen palm tree. But the cop discovers he has no handcuffs. The doorman improvises with the drawstrings of his windbreaker. In the meantime, the bomber vanishes. One of the first senior officers to arrive at his apartment is Sonny Rezon. Incident at uh, Doña Josepa apartment uh, was the breakthrough in uh, opening our eyes that uh, the Al-Qaeda terrorist cell was already operating here in the Philippines. The Philippine National Police know they have stumbled onto something big, and they inform Interpol, Scotland Yard, and the FBI. 